Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to transform any color photo into one of those sheets of tiny colorful candy dots on sheets of paper. You can create your own candy portrait like this one I did of Lady Gaga. By inverting the white paper to black, it changes the overall look and by adding an additional glow, it gives the image a bit of illumination. The size of this document is 1280 by 720 pixels with a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. As always, let's make a copy of the original image to protect it by dragging it to the new layer icon. It's important that our final image be as vibrant and colorful as possible, so we need to apply an adjustment layer to pump up the vibrance. If your adjustments window isn't already opened, just click on the adjustment layer icon which will open up the window. Click on the Vibrance icon and drag the Vibrance slider all the way to the right. You'll notice the Vibrance adjustment layer is automatically placed right above the layer you're applying it to. To merge these two layers into one, press Ctrl or Command E. Let's rename this layer Gaga Vibe for Vibrance. Go to Filter, Pixelate, and Mosaic. I'm applying a cell size of 15 to this image. Because each photo is different, you may find applying a different cell size is better for your image. At this point we need to make a new document, so press Ctrl or Command N. This new document will be our source for the dots. The width, height, and resolution must match the cell size and resolution that we assign to our pixelated mosaic. Since we applied a cell size of 15, we must make the width and height of our new document 15 pixels at a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. Because our document is so small, click on the magnifying tool to enlarge it up. Click on the marquee tool icon and choose the elliptical marquee tool. Go to the center of the box and press Shift plus Alt or Shift plus Option on a Mac as you click down with your mouse or pen. Then drag out to the edges of the box. This will make a perfect circle that is 15 pixels in diameter. We need to invert the selection, so press Ctrl Shift I or Command Shift I on a Mac. Click on the new layer icon and then press Alt Delete or Option Delete to fill it with black. Make sure you have black as your foreground color. We want to make the selection very dense with black, so press Alt Delete or Option Delete three times. Press Ctrl or Command D to get rid of the selection. Then go to Edit and Define Pattern. Let's name this Dot 15 for 15 pixels. Go to the Layers panel and click on the New Layer icon. Since white is our background color, press Ctrl or Command Delete. Double click on the layer to call up the Layer Style window and then click on Pattern Overlay. Click on the little arrow next to Pattern and click on the very last icon. This is the 15 pixel dot we just created. Click OK and then click on the Channels tab. Go down to the bottom and click on the left icon. This will create a selection of our white dots. Then go back to the Layers panel, click on the layer where we created our pattern, and drag it to the trash since we don't need it anymore. With our Mosaic Gaga image active and our dot pattern selection selected, press Ctrl or Command J to cut out the Gaga image from the selection. Click on the new layer icon as you press Ctrl or Command to make a new layer below the active layer. Since white is our background color, press Ctrl or Command Delete to fill the layer with white. Let's get a bit closer now. I'll click on the magnifying tool and then click down in an area and drag it across. We're ready to give our dots some shadows and highlights, so double click on the layer to call up the layer style window. Click on Bevel and Emboss. Choose Inner Bevel and Smooth. I'll choose 4 pixels for the size. 
Keep in mind, every photo has its own characteristics, and if your photo is a different size or resolution, you may want to assign a different size for your image. Change the highlight mode to color dodge, and change the highlight opacity to 40%. For the shadows, I'll change the mode to linear burn, and the opacity will be 40% just like the highlight. So at this point we have a great candy portrait that we created from a straight photo. We can create a different look by inverting the background from white to black. To do that, press Alt or Option Delete. And if we make the dots glow a bit, they'll look illuminated. To do this, we'll make a copy of the dots by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Make the original layer active and trash the effects. Go to Filter blur and Gaussian blur. I've chosen a radius of three pixels. Go to the layers panel and change the mode from normal to hard light. It gives the dots a little bit of illumination. Here's the before and here's the after. Using these simple techniques you can have fun making your own candy portrait. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.